Hey traders, John Hal here. Man, I'm so 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 excited about these markets. But on a on an honest level, guys, I really want to have a good talk with you guys about these markets that's happening right now. And um, because I know there's a lot of uncertainty right now within you, right? There there may be a lot of people out there that are not, not sure what to do or how to get ahead in these markets and, and all that sort of stuff. So today is more about giving you a bit more of a broader view of how to approach these markets, how to get involved with these markets. If you are really struggling right now in these markets, maybe you've made a little bit of money on this downturn, but it's pretty, it pretty much luck. It wasn't really any method to what you're doing, but you really want to get ahead long term, or maybe you've been losing a lot of money, then this video is for you. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so let's get straight into it. I want to talk about, um, now the market's obviously just closed here in, in, in here, uh, in the markets here. Uh, the Dow Jones, uh, the Dow Jones had one of its biggest down days followed by almost one of its biggest up days. It's so, and I want to use that as a preference to what I want to talk about here. Whenever, when everything seems to be really, really, really bad in the markets, that's when that's when things are about to turn, right? Because we, you know yourself, right? If you look at what actually happens behind the scenes, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up one of my one of my private clients as well too. I'm going to talk about what he's been doing just this year alone with the trading system that we have as a private client. You're going to be sharing. I'm going to share with you exactly what he's been doing, and and, and me and my, a lot of my other private clients what we've been doing to excel through no matter what actually happens in the markets all this year. But I'll get to that in a minute. You're going to absolutely love his his love his feedback and his testimony that he actually just recently wrote me. You're going to absolutely love it. Blew, blew him away. He went from so many years to so many years to losing all money to just just absolutely just and now he's made all his money back and a lot more. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But I want to get back to this first. When we're looking at the markets here, okay, we can see the Dow Jones had a very a very 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 big down day right yesterday they 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 came out and they said that it's a it's a it's a pandemic um and all this sort of stuff right and the market actually just froze here and i want you to think about the psychology of the markets here for a minute okay and you can see that dow jones was up quite nicely today uh almost 10 percent today um the s p uh wasn't really up that much now, the interesting thing is the S&P wasn't up that much. Uh, I've actually got positions, as you guys know, right? I've got positions in the SPY right now. Now, what I did do with the SPY is, if you guys really want to know what I did with the SPY, is this, right? You can see how um, on this day right here, I actually think I bought, yeah, on this day right here, I bought some cores. And then on the... And then, and then on the, uh, I'll, I'll get, to, I'll get to the minute. I think it was this day right here that I actually bought some more calls. Um, I'll, I'll, again, I'll get, I'll get to that in a minute. But I, I'm actually positioned into this right now. Okay, and when people say that I've got this wrong, please remember that I've got two different types of options. I've got one option that's going to last about three or four months, and then I've got another option that lasts to the end of this year. And the way to position you think about this here is that. The rally down that we've had here, once we do find a bottom, now I don't know if we found a bottom here or not. The interesting thing is the SPY is up 9%. The S&P is only up 5%, which is pretty phenomenal. But once we do find a bottom, if this is some form of bottom, I'm not saying it is, but if this is some form of bottom, because the market's like an elastic band, when the market goes down very, very quick like this, it's gonna snap back. Even a 50 to a 60, even a 50 to a 62% retracement, it's likely to snap back. Now, the psychology of that is, as the market's been dropping, the call options, as I've been sort of, I've been, I think, I think I bought once or twice, or maybe even three times on this down move, with enough time, because I knew once we actually get the snap back, the volatility is going to kick back into those options really, really, really quickly. Now, again, I may be wrong in that situation there, but as you guys know, I've been putting videos out saying this is the greatest time, this is this is a, this is the greatest gift to get involved with the markets. And when I say that, I say that in a mix of, okay, I bought some options and the market went down a lot more. So I bought some more to average in to this here because long-term, this is long-term, we've actually had a very big spike down. Even if we get a 50 to 62% retracement, my options that I've bought are going to be very, very, very nice profitable, not only because of the move up, but also because of volatility. So within the mix of all this here, um, there's a lot of uncertainty in these markets, okay? And if you look back over your time, no matter what it is, right? Whether it's something personal in your life, 
or whether it's financial, whatever, right? What actually happens when things seem to be absolutely going crazy? Yesterday it was, this is pandemic. And yesterday we had the biggest down day followed by almost the biggest update today. And it's pretty crazy, isn't it? It's like what, it's it's the cycle of things, right? It's like, that's why I've always been saying in the last week or so, this is an amazing opportunity to be getting long this market because at some point we're going to get the snap back and the market's like an elastic band. And if the it's it's like Bitcoin, right? Because Bitcoin shot up so quickly up to the 17, 18,000, guess what happened? That thing came down really, really quickly. Exactly like what's happening in the markets right now. The market's been selling off rapidly, very, very quickly. The snapback is likely to be just as just as just as violent, right? It's a bit of a I'm expecting some sort of a V bottom out of this. That means that we're probably likely to go up most of the days. But as you can see, even on the down days, we have a bit of sideways days and not much going on, right? A bit of a slight pullback and so on and so forth. That's what I'm expecting here. Once we, I don't know, if we have found a bottom, then over the next month or two months, we're probably likely to rally back up and then probably even close this gap here. I don't know. I'm not saying that it is. Um, but if it is the bottom right now, we're likely to get snapped back only because this is how the markets work. Okay, and this is this is the psychology of markets. When, when things that like, I'll give you an example, right? Here in Australia, what was happening at the start of the year here in Australia? Fires galore, right? Fires, 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 right? It was so bad. It just seemed like it was never going to end. You know, everyone was doing like concerts to raise money and all that sort of stuff. And then guess what happened? Two or so months later, it's disappeared and it's gone away and so on and so forth. Please think about this from a logical point of view of what's going on here in the markets, okay? Guess what? Guess what's going on right now? I just I just listened to one of my mentors, and he said that he has a, a lot of because uh, he's, he's more like a business coach, but um, a lot of the people that he coaches that they actually deal with China, and as you know, right, China shut down for a while. But guess what's actually happening right now in China? China's actually starting to open up their factories again. China start to produce those products in. China start to ship products again. Like that's actually starting to happen here in China. In, in China. So maybe for the next week, maybe next for the few weeks, maybe next month, that things are slowing down in the United States, but they're going to pick back up again, right? It started in China, so it's actually slowing down there, and they're starting to open up their factories again. Fundamentally, things are already starting to pick up behind the scenes. We just look at the price action and say, that we just look at the actual chart being smashed by this, by this here, and then suddenly we look at, and then suddenly we look at, uh, um, you know, this is a pandemic. We look at that from the face face of what it is, okay? But then we always think, right? We always think, oh, this is going to be, this is the worst, this is going to be, um, you know, this is, this is this is the top and so on and so forth. I want to share, I want to share a chart that I shared with, I want to share a chart with you that I actually shared with my private clients and I want to share something with you here. And please keep this in perspective, okay? Look at this here. This is a chart here. This is the S&P weekly futures here. And look at this here. Please keep perspective on what's going on right now. Nothing economically has changed. People saying everything's gonna everything's gonna burst because it's one thing. Now maybe this is the top. If this is the top, we're probably like we're probably like to get a very sharp and hard fast snapback. And then if we get some sort of lower high, then rolling over, this is a massive topping pattern. But that but we're likely to get first a first a snapback. But look at this here, right? 2011. People saying the top is in because we got this we got this flash crash through here. European debt crisis, 2016, Trump's going to be elected, it's going to crash the markets. Guess what? Negative interest rates, oh my goodness, that's going to crash the markets. Brexit, oh my goodness, that's going to crash the markets. What happened here in 2018? Right? The top is in, trade war. What's happening right now? If you actually know what happened with the ES, right? The ES actually recently went down to this support level right now and actually has bounced right off. If I actually, this is the S&P weekly futures, but if I actually bring up that chart again, say on the S&P 500, and I bring up, say, my longer term charts, say my monthly charts here, we can actually see, look at this here. Look what actually happened. So this was the chart I put up here a few days ago with my client saying, question mark, look what happened here just recently. It came all the way down and bounced right off that line and came all the way back up and look where it closed, right there. If I go to my weekly chart, look what happened. It came right down to that line and bounced. So, guys, all I'm saying is that we can see from what's going on here right now, we can see how this has actually changed. And 
And you know, if the top is going to be in, then we're gonna. It's, the top takes some time to form. This doesn't just go straight down. And people, I know people have been saying, "Oh, John, you said the market doesn't go straight down. Look what's happening." Okay, when the market comes down very, very quickly, the market's the market's like an elastic band. Okay, and if it goes up too quickly, guess what? Then we have a pullback, exactly like this here, right? You can see how this point right here. We actually had a very vertical move here before the pullback. Now we had a very vertical move down. Guess what's likely to happen? We're likely to have at least a 50 to a 62% retracement, at least. And that pullback, that snapback is likely to be just as violent as the down move. So I want you to think about that from a perspective of what's going on here in the markets here, right? And as you can see, things are really like a massive, massive, complete turnaround here. Um, in, in what's going on here right now. Now, I'm not saying this is the exact bottom. I don't know when the exact bottom is, but guys, I want you to think about this here for a, for a moment, okay? I don't care about where the exact bottom is. All I know is that when I started the entering, I entered in with 2.5% of my account, and as the market's been dropping, I've been adding another couple of times. I also bought JP Morgan uh, right here as well too. Right, I also bought, I would load it up pretty big on JP Morgan actually. I think it was on this one of these days here. I think it was this day right here, or one of these three days here, I actually loaded up on JP Morgan, right? So JP Morgan's were up very, very nicely already for me. Um, I'm long JP Morgan, and I'm also long the SPY. Now I didn't, I didn't average, I didn't average in on JP Morgan. I just looked at this and I saw where it was. And I thought, you know what, JP Morgan is a very, very nice position, so I'm going to start going long JP Morgan. We're likely to run back up towards these highs back up here, and but JP Morgan's a December option for me. Right, but I want you to think about this from a, from a, from a perspective, okay? If JP Morgan does run to the highs up here, um, then that one position, this this one position here, is is risking a very small percent of my my, my actual overall long term trading long term account, okay? If it's not, then I'm gonna be, and then it's gonna be down quite small, okay? Now I got a, I got a pretty large position on there. I got about a, about a ten, or not 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 a large one, but I got a roughly about a ten thousand dollar position here, okay? But I want you to put this into numbers perspective. If by the end of this year we have rallied up to close to where the highs are by the end of this year, then then I'll put this in simple numbers here. A fifteen hundred dollar trade. I got about a ten thousand dollar trade this one, but. Uh, oh yeah, I've got a ten thousand dollar trade, but a fifth. Just just uh, if I bring this down to smaller numbers for you, so you understand, is that a fifteen, uh, a, a one thousand five hundred dollar trade right now? If that does happen by the end of this year, right? If we do get a rally back up to the end of this year, anything can happen, right? A as low as a fifteen hundred dollar trade would produce around would would produce anywhere between twenty five and fifty thousand dollars profit. Do you see what I'm saying there? Right, but as I said before, $10,000 is a very small percent of my actual trading account. If that disappears, it's only a very small percent of my trading account. If it goes up, you do the numbers on what I'm gonna make on just this one trade alone. I'm also I'm also very similar, not the exact same, but very. I'm actually a lot more loaded up on the SPY, right? So I've got a much, much bigger position on the SPY. And as I said before, I bought here, I bought on this day here, some call options. And then I also bought down here, I think it was some call options, because I knew eventually we're gonna get some sort of snapback. And even if this thing rallies back up to a 50 or 60 percent tracing, guess what's gonna happen, right? I was in underwater here, right now, I'm almost back at break even now with my with my call options. And I've got, guess what? And I've got another, I've got another three months left in one of my options, and then I've got like, to the end of this year on, on another options. You see what I'm saying there, guys? But guess what, at the end of the day, if these opportunities, these times I'm trying to talk to you about is that if you remove your emotions from what's going on, you can risk small to make really, really, really good money. And as I said before, if I bring up my JP Morgan again as an example here, and I'm using, as I drop the numbers down, but as little as say a $1,500 investment, if it does rally up by the end of this year, that could be, that could be, that could be anywhere between say a 20 and say $50,000 profit for you. Now imagine, I've got a $10,000 position. Imagine what that's gonna be for me if we do get the rally button there, just this one trade. So I'm trying to use this, and again, I try to use smaller numbers so you can under, so you can get the concept of what I'm trying to say here. I don't risk a lot, right? Now I do have a lot of my account in the markets, but I, I have I have small percent of my account, uh, a, a small percent of my account, or 
Yeah, all right. I'll, I'll get to that. I'll get to that in a minute. But I'm trying to. Do you see what I'm trying to say with you guys? Okay, that a lot of people think that this is going to keep going down and keep going down. The market never does that. Even if we do get one or two weeks like we have right now, pretty strong selling. Guess what's going to happen? There's a lot of gaps here in JP Morgan up here as well too. Uh, SPY and all that sort of stuff. These gaps will be filled, right? They will be filled. We are, we we will get some sort of sharp bounce. I don't know if the, the if the bounce has actually started today. Whether we get some sort of pullback tomorrow or not. I don't care. I don't care. Like as of before, I got like a June option. I don't care if my June options expire worthless because the bulk of my money is actually in a December option. Do you see what I'm saying there? So I've given myself plenty of time um, with the spy, and the same for J. As of before, the same for JP Morgan. the The whole position is actually a December option. So I hope you can see that the way to play these here, the way to trade these here is is not to load up massive amounts of money into these things. We said, no, I'm going to take a small portion of this here. This is likely to snap back quite hard because we've got a very sharp pullback. And within that fast snapback, I'm likely to do really well because options, the call options are getting smashed as this market's been going down. Volatility is evaporating massively out of the call options. Guess what happens when you're buying on that and then the market does start to snap back, even 50 or 60% of the move? Guess what? Your options go through the roof because not only now, not, not only now, people buying those right, so supply demand, people buying those options, but now volatility is picking up massively, and your and your options absolutely just explode overnight when the market does turn. So it's please, guys, please, it's not about me trying to pick the bottom. I didn't give a shit where the bottom is. I just have a very, 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 I I, I do understand that fundamentally, even right now. It started in China, but China's already starting to open up some of their factories right now. Yes, we've had a bit of a shutdown in America and stuff like that, but guess what? Over the next two weeks, over the next four weeks, things are going to start to open up and pick back up in America as well too, and you know things are going to go normal. I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys, but where I am in Australia, I go to Sydney, and Sydney is one of the one of the is pretty much the heart of of Australia, right? There's nothing, everything's open, everything's gone crazy, everything seems to be normal, right? Nothing much has been, nothing much, uh, like things are, still, things are still going well. So what was really, really, really bad where it started in China and things look really bad, things are starting to turn right now. Make sense? So what I was talking about there, guys, is basically about, about basically taking advantage of this opportunity. But most of my trading and with my private clients, right, is done with the trading system. It's not about being lucky. And and so what I want to do right now is I just want to bring up, uh, I just want to bring up uh, uh, this. I'm going to share. I'm going to share my Facebook with you. I'm going to share with you. This is actually the Facebook group right now. You can see I've actually blurred out some of the names of that, but you can see how uh, Joanne actually. Uh, he actually put this on the Facebook group um, uh, on the on the eighth of March, which was just um, you know maybe a week ago. I want to read this to you because I want to share with you. If you're struggling right now, guys, there is a way for you to actually move forward in these markets, and it's not about being lucky, right? It's, most of my trading is done with the trading system, a set of rules that I don't even share with you guys, or I don't I don't share those trades with you. I'm just talking about the general market here. But I want to share this with you here. Here's what he said. Hi, mentor slash private client group traders. I just want to say thank you again for choosing to spend part of your life and time to be a mentor. You know some of my story about getting into trades, health, lung, etc., and losing money until I entered your mentoring ship. This is just, as you can see, this is just um just recently. Now I still lose, but it's still because I don't follow the rules. But each time I lose, which is less and less, it instills with me how important they are. I don't want to reiterate any of those now, but I want to encourage other private client group students to really sit back and focus and get all the all the past junk out of their our my heads. This has been the hardest part for me. I'm a very I am very private, and really the only people who know what I'm doing slash trading is the private client group. Let's continue here. The um. This has uh, the private client. Oh yeah, I do not. I don't, uh, yeah, this has been the most hardest part because the people do. Okay, yep. Except for my family, my family doesn't know the numbers I shared in this group. So here are a few more. Last year, I lost over twenty thousand dollars in your private client group traders lockback. 
if you private client direct trades look back at my at previous post, you can see the numbers of my losses and subsequently <laughs> gains because of your mentoring, John. I, I, I've said that I have nearly earned enough to recover my losses from this year and cost of five other programs. Thank you again, because as of the, as of the third of the six, or that as of the, basically the sixth of March, I've earned enough now, I've earned that, I've earned enough that I have now recovered all the losses of, of last year as well, as well. Um, in the attachment of the I, INO, this is the INO trade, Help me put help me put me over in the in the positive for all my short term trading career. This trade has been a three to five day rule, and I got out in four days. It's one of the it's one of the trades that I teach in my private client group. I had a return on investment of four of around fifteen thousand. My thirty thousand dollar account, my thirty thousand dollar trading account, is now up over a hundred thousand dollars. And he's only been part of my he's only been part of my um, he's only been part of my group since basically this year. Um, thank you again. I want everyone in this group to be successful, and this is why I'm saying this. I joined the group just over oh, there you go, nine weeks ago. Nine weeks ago, he turned thirty thousand to a hundred thousand here, and 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 didn't know much about the program, but I went through over and over and over with teachings every day. The program works. We just have to be clear in our minds, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, which is so hard for us guys sometimes. But perseverance will pay off. I truly believe you, John, is doing this so we can be better, take care of our lives and around us, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Thanks, Thomas. Now, let me just move this over here for a minute. And I want to talk to you about something through there. As you can see, traders, okay, I, I get a lot of flack sometimes on YouTube about my cause, about, you know, like, oh, John, you got it wrong. This thing's crashing, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff, okay? But one thing you don't see is most of my trades, just like Thomas just said there, okay? Um, his name is actually Joanne, uh, but I think that's, but then Thomas, I think is like, like an English name, I think. I think, I think it's like, I don't think it's English. Um, English name or something like that, so yeah. So, but the thing is, is that as you can see with Joanne slash Thomas, <laughs> um, is that that's what we do as a private client group, right? That's what we do. We, we follow a set of rules and then we, and then we, and then when I see opportunities like this, I'm gonna be, and then I'm gonna be getting into these markets as well. Makes sense. So when I see really good opportunities like this for what I call longer term trades, where I get in and I'm probably gonna be holding it for maybe two or three or four months, um, like probably the SPY, like probably JP Morgan, and so on and so forth. Um, you know, these trades these longer term trades I'm in, but majority of my trades, which is where mo where all my profit comes from, or most of my profit, should I say, comes from that actual trading system. So if you're struggling right now, if you're if you're absolutely struggling right now and you're you're confused, you're unsure, you're fearful what's gonna go on, you don't need to worry about getting it getting it lucky, right? So even if you did short this market right now and you've made some money, was that an actual system, was that an actual approach, or was that you getting lucky? The positions I've made in the markets right now have come directly from, I've taken some of my profits that I've made and put it into the markets from my trading system. If you don't have any set of rules, you don't have any have an actual proper trading system that you're following, you're guessing, you're gambling, and you're never gonna make money long-term. Just like Thomas said, right, or Joanne. <laughs> Joanne Thomas. <laughs> um, just like he said, right, just over nine weeks, and 30,000 into 100,000. Now, I'm not gonna promise you that, but, what I do say is, as you can see, that he's absolutely crushing because he's following the rules and I'm there every single day. So here's what I'm gonna do, guys. Over the next week, there's a very first link description. I've just opened up the actual order form for 70% off to my actual coaching program. You can click on the link click on the link below and on the next, on, on, on that page, you'll be able to, on the right-hand column, you'll be able to read everything that goes into my coaching program. Um, and then uh, then also you can actually put put your order through on, on the same page for a 70% off, but it's only for this weekend only, and it ends on Sunday. So, uh, so this is what I want you to do right now, guys. If you are struggling right now and you really need my help and you want some, and you want to actually start to pick yourself back up again, get weekly coaching sessions with me, daily coaching on the Facebook group, and you know, and start to move forward again, just like Joanne and Thomas was starting to do. He was struggling just like, um, and then suddenly he just turned it all around. If you need my help, then this is the program you need to be on. I'm running a 70% off complete to my coaching program. Very first thing in the description below, you can go over that page. Um, the page will go down 
on Sunday. Uh, on Sunday. So this is what I want you to do right now. Click on the link. Click on the very first link in the description below. Go over right now and check it all out. And if this is for you, then join right now. And for the rest of this year, you're going to have me as your coach. Either way, guys, I hope some of the stuff that I've actually talked about here in this video and the psychology of the way you're thinking about these markets, um, think about this from, from not a short-term perspective, from, from, from an actual market perspective of what's going on here right now with the virus. But on the flip side is that who cares what's, whether the market's going down or up? Just like my private clients and just like me, we follow a set of rules that gives us almost 100% success rate. I, and, I, and I did just say that. My trading system has an almost 100% success rate. I say to my private clients, show me a trade that meets all the rules that doesn't make a profit. Because it's so hard to find, we don't we, we don't actually find it. Now, there's not a lot of trades, but I'm not after a lot of trades. I'm after I'm after a very high win loss ratio. So anyway, guys, click on the link in the description below right now. Put your order through for that seventy percent off, and I look forward to speaking to you soon.